I hope you all are doing fine. Today I'm going to be making a Cubits melody and afterwards I'm going to be making a beat with this melody and I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that you can use for your own melodies. So let's go. Right, so BPM is set at 128 and for the sound I'm going to be using a preset that I made in Analog Lab. Today I'm going to be working with the A minor scale. So first I'm just going to build an A minor chord. You know what, I'm just going to copy it. Also make sure to use option R to randomize the velocity to make it sound more human. Option S to strum the chords. Probably gonna go ahead and open up contact and I'm gonna add a different sound but I'm gonna be using the same MIDI pattern and the bang is called Resonance Emotional Bells. Okay, I'm chopping it up, I pitch it down by a couple of semitones. Now that we've got our basic chords ready, I feel like we can add a melody on top. And I'm probably going to use contact and use a flute, like the Jubal flute or something, because I feel like it might work. So let's try it out. Now I feel like we need one more sound, probably gonna go with Omnisphere and I'm gonna choose like a soundscape, like a texture sound just to kind of fill up the loop and to add some atmosphere. Alright, so this is the sound I'm gonna be using from Omnisphere, it's called Broken Cello Rainbow Space. It's under Textures Playable. And now I'm just gonna place it one note throughout the whole loop. I'm actually gonna add in one more instrument. I feel like there's some space left for a harp. So yeah, let's see if it works out. And I'm gonna use auto pen to have it move from left side to the right side because I don't want it to be stuck in the middle. Let's go a little bit more experimental with Portal, but I'm gonna turn down the mix to uh, maybe 25, 24. All right, now I'm gonna add some effects on the master. First, I'm gonna go with an EQ and cut out uh, most of the lows. I'm also gonna try to remove some of the more annoying frequencies. I'm also gonna add a limiter with the ceiling at minus 60 dB and I'm also gonna turn it up. And now I'm gonna be using this melody to make a beat with it using a new FLP. First I'm going to pitch down this loop by four semitones. sure to turn cut itself on for 808s. I'm gonna make the 808 slightly shorter. Let's reverse this hi-hat and let's have a look whether or not this sounds any good. And now I'm going to pan one of the snares to the left and the other one to the right. 
And I'm going to add this Abbey Road saturated plugin on the drum bus. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be adding the link to both FLPs in my description. So make sure to check out my description if you want to learn and study this FLP. So yeah, make sure to check it out and to leave a like if you learn anything and recommend it to your producer friends. That would be highly appreciated. So yeah, peace.